It's a sport that many of us love to play and watch. Now this might look like any ordinary kickabout down the local park, but for the Havel service users taking part here at Bargoy Community Centre in Caerphilly, it's more than that. It's a lifeline. Mel Trevelyan has paranoid schizophrenia. The last 12 years for him have been filled with loneliness, isolation and episodes where he's lost touch with reality. But recently he's been attending the weekly sessions as part of Havel's Caerphilly project and believes the social benefits of playing football have helped his mental health. Well, you're a part of something, like, you know, like, yeah, it really helped me a lot. Like, you know, I get out more, mix well now. I met some new friends and you're a part of a team now, like, so yeah, you do look forward to it, like, you know, it's really have helped me a lot, like. The sessions are run by Go Green for Health, a scheme which aims to encourage physical activity in public spaces. To keep the playing field level so that people of all abilities can join in, players aren't allowed to run and must walk at all times. It's an activity that has certainly proved popular with the Havel service users. The, lots of the guys have mentioned that it's, it's perhaps their, their only sort of physical activity that they engage in. And it's a chance to have that peer support or that social interaction which they maybe don't gain in, in the rest of the week, either through social isolation or just through the, the general barriers that they, they overcome with, with the mental illness. So by sort of setting at a walk in football level, anybody can take part and it's a, it's a fun way to be active. There is a strong link between physical and mental health. In 2014, Havel's Let's Get Physical campaign offered free physical health checks to over 300 service users. The results showed a direct link between mental ill health and poor physical health. Only a third of service users were found to be physically healthy. Over half had above threshold blood glucose levels, 21% had above threshold blood pressure levels, and 13% were advised to see their GP immediately. Dr. Taib Tahir is a consultant psychiatrist at University Hospital of Wales in Cardiff. He says research suggests that there are many benefits to people with mental illness looking after their physical health. The risk of cardiovascular diseases would be less. The risk for developing depression would be less. The risk of uh, um, developing other illnesses like arthritis would be less. The impact on self-esteem, energy, sleep, anxiety, depression is huge. Dr. Tahir says simple lifestyle changes can often make a big difference to his patient's health and well-being. Doing more uh, exercise, uh, being active, uh, going for a walk daily, uh, looking after what they eat, uh, reducing their uh, uh, alcohol consumption, reducing uh, their and trying to quit smoking uh, are huge messages that can be given to patients to improve their physical health and consequently their mental health. This is the Havel Caerphilly team who recently played in a walking football tournament organised by Swansea Football Club. Results may not have gone their way on the pitch, but for Mel and the team, it's about much more than just a game. We won one and lost two and I did score the winning goal, so yeah, it was, it was something I'd never done before, I wouldn't think I would do it, but yeah, I really enjoyed it, like, I'm looking forward to next year's tournament now, so maybe we bring a couple next time, right? For all the Havel services in Bargoid, football could help them achieve their ultimate goal, recovery. Mike Wood, Havel TV, Cavilli. Yeah.